sleep. Everybody needs it, but a good chunk of us just don't get enough or the quality of sleep that makes us tired all day long. In tonight's Wear the Gown, Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Baker looks into how much we need and how to make our beauty rest better. You have to make sleep your priority. Um, second is that you have to dedicate time for your sleep. Dr. Sue Habe Hawk, the medical director for the Dr. Robert L. M. Hilliard Center within the University Health System, says close to half of his patients complain about sleep. They say that they have trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. And the second other complaint we, we hear about is, you know, I snore. My spouse tells me I stop breathing. Stopping breathing is one sign of sleep apnea. But snoring is sometimes a sign of that, too. Snoring is one of them. Waking up tired, feeling sleepy, and dragging yourself during the day. So how much sleep is enough sleep? Infants up to 12 months should be getting 12 to 16 hours of sleep every 24 hours, including naps. Toddlers between 1 and 2 years old, 11 to 14 hours. Preschool kids between 3 and 5 years old, 10 to 13 hours a night. school age kids from 6 to 12 years, 9 to 12 hours of sleep. Teenagers, 8 to 10 hours of sleep a night. And adults over 18, at least 7 hours every night. Some people do good with six hours. Some people, you know, may not do good six hours. Some people may not do good with eight hours uh, because the sleep is disrupted or has poor quality. Other health effects from lack of sleep include obesity, heart disease, diabetes, infertility, and overall shortening of life expectancy. But there are social aspects too. Daytime sleepiness fatigue that can lead to accidents, poor memory, uh, unable to concentrate well, unable to finish your work at school at home. So make sure you're getting enough sleep and good sleep so you won't have to see the doc and wear that gown. <laughs> Jeremy Baker, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News. For more sleep information from Dr. Hawk, you can check out this story at kins5.com. And as always, for more information on family health, call 210-358-3045. You can also find the rest of Wear the Gown stories. Just go to wearthegown.com.